You know, during a storm, we expect to see city snow plows working long hours, but have you ever stopped to think about smaller companies that do the exact same thing? Triad Turf Techs have to completely change their business model in winter when lawn care isn't needed, but when there's a winter storm, they are in full hustle mode. We do mostly landscaping and lawn maintenance and, and landscape lighting, but obviously when it snows, that isn't happening. So um, it's really as soon as it stops, we've got uh, about seven of my own guys and then we're pulling guys off of other landscaping crews to, to help us with, with getting rid of the snow, shoveling, plowing. Um, but it's, it's some long, long hours. Long hours it is, Casey said sometimes they'll work 16 hours a day for a few days after the storm to get it all broken up. But remember now, this one was more ice. You can see there, that's the plow trying to cut little pieces of ice while they scrape it up. And when it's ice and not snow, that's a whole different story. I tell people we, we can clear a foot of snow a whole lot easier than we can clear an inch of ice. It just, the, the plows, if it's ice, the plows just run over it. We can't touch it until it slushes up. So, so we would take snow all day and, and we can we can push snow at night. But again, if one, once it's ice, sun goes down, that's that's over. Hmm. So basically, he said like a day like today, the window is kind of weird, right? So he waits for it to get warm enough that it does start to melt and then tries to hurry with all of his crews and trucks to get as much of it up as they can, because after about seven or eight o'clock tonight, it's going to refreeze again. And we all have to remember that, I mean, plows really haven't been in operation for three years. Right, because I mean, we haven't had snow more than two inches in over three years. So I mean, some of these guys uh, are out of practice, <laughs> that right? Might be, yeah. yeah that's true. I thought that was so interesting how you have to literally break it into little pieces. I didn't even think about like how hard that would be to actually scrape the ice off. He so. said they'll they'll break it, break it, break it, and get it, some of that, and then they back up and try to scoop and hope they can start getting under it. Mm. But he says inevitably you get under it for a little bit, but then it goes right back up to the top, and you have to go back and break it again. So, so time consuming. Hours. It's like um, when you have to rip the the UPS label off a box because you want to reuse it and you just get little pieces <laughs> at a time You're like why can't I just pick up this whole sheet right the little things in life oh my gosh that's a weird analogy but <laughs> I think it works right it really did work it's true <laughs> it's though great. very true yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>